Hello guys and girls, welcome to my channel, it's Lurks here and today a review and drive of the Volkswagen T5 Combi. Let's go. Now if you think about it, all the coolest characters on film have a van. Scooby-Doo, Mr. T from the A-Team, Bodie from Point Break when he's robbing the banks. Now this van that I'm reviewing is a VW T5 Combi. This is 140 horsepower, two liter diesel turbo. Now this particular van has got hill hold. If you pull up the traffic lights on a hill, and you put your foot on the brake and then put the clutch down and put it into first gear you don't have to pull the handbrake up when the traffic lights change to green you can just touch the accelerator and the van will automatically let go of the brake and then you're off now the thing i like about when i'm driving the van is people tend to give way so if you're driving along the road and there's something coming towards you a car they tend to give you more rights of way because you're a lot bigger now this van does actually drive really really nice i don't like it when people say oh it drives just like a car because every single modern vehicle drives like a car they're all really good now all modern vans trucks and even buses i drove a bus when i was a bus driver and that was just like driving a car easy there's a link above now about the fuse box locations and how to check the fuses on your Volkswagen T5 Transporter. So we've got the badge on the back, TDI, this stands for Turbo Diesel Injection. And here is the engine here. As I said earlier, this is the 140 horsepower version and this is absolutely brilliant. This thing pulls like a steam train. 0 to 60 is probably about 12 seconds and top speed in excess of 100 miles an hour. And with careful driving, it will do about 40 miles to the gallon, I reckon. <laughs> and it's got a six speed gearbox, which is absolutely fantastic. In sixth gear, it cruises at 75 miles an hour. Now this is where you put the diesel fuel in and any robbers can't steal the diesel out of your van because it can only be opened when the door is open. So when the door is shut, you cannot open the fuel cap there. Now underneath the front, you've got an engine under tray. This helps with obviously aerodynamics and protects the bottom of the engine. And there's a link above now about how to remove the engine under tray. So if we look under the back of the van here, we've got the spare wheel. Now it does actually carry a full size spare wheel, which obviously is a lot of weight. A lot of modern vehicles now just carry skinny tires or just a puncture repair kit. And there's the twin exhaust. And on my van, I've got the alloy wheels. These have got an anti-theft nut on them. And the good thing about this van is it's got disc brakes all round, front and back. The tires on mine are 21565R16s and I've got the nice side chrome bars on my van. So the brakes are really good on this van. And the lights are excellent. Now, I've never had to change these yet. I think these are either halogen or xenon bulbs, and they're really, really good. And spoiler alert, this van has got a spoiler. Now, this definitely helps when you're going around corners at about 90 miles an hour. It definitely helps grip the road better. Actually, no, it doesn't. It just looks quite cool. And we've got the comfort windows on here. And there's a link above now about how to operate the comfort windows. And on the combi van, we've got the sliding windows, quite possibly the worst invention Volkswagen has ever made. Now they clip into these little clips, you can move them back, but that clip in the middle is so flimsy and these things leak. It doesn't matter how much you clean them, you've got little drainage holes, they just leak. And I can't believe they've actually put these back on the Volkswagen T6. They had a real chance of improving these on putting some different designs on. Hopeless. We've got foldable wing mirrors, which are really handy. And these are fully adjustable from inside with this joystick. So you either select left or right. And then you can move that joystick left, right, up and down to adjust the mirror. And it's really handy when you're parking just to fold in the wing mirrors because you don't want those to get knocked off. There we go.
Now the thing I like about the Volkswagen T5 Combi is the sliding doors. Now this one's got twin sliding doors so you can get out on either side, which is really handy if you're parked up and you're on a busy road. You can just get out the side on the pavement, whatever side that is. Now it's really important that you keep this nicely oiled up, this cable here. This is what operates this side door. I do a lot of surfing down the beach, so that can get very, very corroded very quickly. So this is with both twin side doors open. As you can see, lots of space. And you've got a single seat here, and that folds forward. This does actually lift out if you want to remove it from the van, if you're doing any removals or deliveries, you just pull this lever here. The twin seat also does the same, that lifts out of the catches at the bottom, but that is extremely heavy and you will need two people to move that, to lift that out. This is the tailgate version, which I actually prefer because if it's chucking it down the rain, you can stand underneath the tailgate. So the double seat in the back, you just pull this strap here and that folds down. This gives you a lot of room in the back. Mine's got the rubber matting in, but I also just bought some carpets off of a well-known auction site. That is the jack there. There are two internal lights in the back of the van. These aren't particularly bright, not very good when it's pitch black, but they suffice. So there we go, lots of space. Now this van has got six tie down points in the back of the van. So you've got one here and one on the opposite side. And if we open the tailgate and look in the back, we've got two at the back here and you've got two in the middle. So that's six in total. So if you've got anything in the back that needs tying down, you can tie it to those there. And this is when we went on holiday and you can see we've got loads of stuff in here and a bike and suitcases. But the best thing about having a van is if you've been out on a surf like today and it's chunky and it's windy and it's freezing cold because it's the middle of winter. You're just looking forward to getting back out of the cold and the wind and getting back to your van. It really is a sight for sore eyes, much better than getting in a car or where you have to get changed outside. You can just get inside the van and get out of the wind and the cold. And here's a car park full of vans with my Volkswagen T5 Combi on the left. So it's howling winds, freezing cold, and you just can't wait to get inside. So on mine, you've got the tailgates. You can lift that up. That gives you a bit of protection from wind and rain. And then you've got so much space in the back of the van, you can just pull the tailgate down and just get changed in the back. I've got a surfboard in here. This is a nine foot six surfboard. It fits in easily with the dual seats down. Woohoo! It's good to be home. Well, in the van. This van also has an adjustable steering wheel and there's a link above now about how to adjust the steering wheel on your van. Now I've only got the basic dashboard and this is very disappointing on the van because you've got no engine coolant temperature and I find that really, really annoying. And there's a link above now about the dashboard lights overview and what all the lights mean. Now this van has actually got reversing sensors which are built into the rear bumper and it comes up on the display in the middle. and it also has audible warnings. But with the display, it shows you what you're getting close to. So that is very useful. And there we go, nice and close. We've also got adjustable headrests, which go up and down. And just to show you, I'm sitting on the back seat here and I'm not particularly tall about average height and you've got so much space. I mean, even if you were nearly seven foot, you'd have plenty of space in the back there. And we've just got a little storage compartment up here for sunglasses or a phone, but I just store the cookie monster up there because that's the way I roll. 
you've got some grab handles on either side if you're absolutely flooring it around a corner which obviously you shouldn't be but on the other side I've just got animal nice cozy place to sit now on both seats you can adjust them so this one is the hardness of the actual seat this puffs it up and down you can also tilt it backwards and forwards and on this combi van you've got the lovely armrests you can also move the seat backwards and forwards with this lever here and you can pump the seat up and down so if you're really short you can pump it up higher or you can have it a bit lower now the best thing on the seating position is the armrests these are really handy on a long journey really really comfortable really like those you've got those on both sides you've also got a shades holder here or sunglasses or sunnies you've also got a sun visor there's no light on this just got a mirror if you want to um, look at yourself <laughs> I've just got the basic stereo the CD player is already broken on this but it has got an auxiliary input which is inside the glove box so you can plug your phone into there which is very handy unless you've got the modern iPhone it doesn't use that socket anymore now it's got four speakers two in the front dashboard and one on either door got a lockable glove box various lights up here which you can switch on and off these are okay just for reading you've also got anti-skid control and ABS on this van you can switch that off if you want you can also switch off the passenger airbag if you need to if you're carrying children and there's a link above now about how to do that now on my van you've just got the basic switches here with air conditioning which is handy now I love the basic switches on any vehicle I don't like all this computerized stuff where you do everything on the screen it's just nice to have basic buttons you know what they do simple You've also got a 12 volt socket here to plug in anything we used to call that a cigarette lighter but nobody smokes anymore you've got a drinks holder there which is obviously very handy very important the other thing which is a bit odd about the van is the pedal alignment now the accelerator pedal is quite a bit lower than the brakes if you're in heavy traffic stopping and starting it can make your right leg ache a little bit after a while now the air vents are good in the back these go from the front door through the middle pillar and into the back so if you're going surfing and you come back you're getting changed in the back of the van you can have nice hot air blowing in the back there Now I'm just out for another drive here and as I said earlier this van drives absolutely lovely really is a nice drive the good thing about a van is it's got a high driving position so you've got good visibility you pull up to a junction you're turning left there's a car on the right hand side you can just see straight over the top of it obviously if it's another van you can't do that but the visibility in the van is absolutely fantastic the other thing I like about the van is when you pull over and park you can jump out of either side even in the front you can just slide along so on a busy road you don't have to worry about getting out into the road and that is absolutely just priceless and that is so useful to be able to do that did I mention that I love my van the other thing you can do in a van is do your favourite scenes from Point Break, the bank heists. Little hand says it's time to rock and roll. Turn right. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel. And if you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.